You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching West Hartford. West Hartford Community Television. Community Television. Community Television. For the community. 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 By the community. By the community. By the community. By the community. For the community. By the community. And it's a wrap. Hi, I'm Renee McHugh. I'm very excited to tell you about the Japan Summer Festival at Blueback Square, a one-day celebration of Japanese culture that will be held on Saturday, June 17th from noon to 6. Throughout the day, you can take part in as many of the free events that will be occurring at three locations, uh, outside of Blueback Square, at the main library, and also at Barnes & Noble. And for a complete schedule of all of the events, you can visit the Town of West Hartford's website at westhartfordct.gov and click on the calendar and choose June 17th. The main event of the Japan Summer Festival happens at 4.30 and again at 5. And it features the powerful drumming performance of Sodako of New York. Susami, a traditional lion dancing, will open the festival at noon followed by a greeting by the Consul General of Japan from Boston at 12.30. Outside at Webster Walk in Blueback Square, the Japan Summer Festival will have Japanese festival dancing, an Okinawa song singing, a kids' corner with hands-on activities, a karate demonstration, a yukata experience where you can try on a traditional Japanese summer robe. And inside the library will be su Sumi, black ink drawing demonstration, a traditional tea ceremony, which you'll see today, and activities for children. There will be an origami workshop at Barnes & Noble. There's so much to see and do, you just have to come. But right now, we are going to give you a sneak peek at the powerful drumming performance of Sodako, which, has, which was the first taiko drumming group on the East Coast. Sodako has 10 members, with diverse backgrounds and professions. And Sodako's presentation features the visual element of movement and choreography requiring physical strength, endurance, and energy that makes Taiko such an exciting performance to experience. Let's take a look. Today's show has three very special guests who will talk about three of the events that you will see at the Japan Summer Festival in June. The first is the traditional tea ceremony that will be held at the library from 12 to 1. And Japanese tea ceremonies are, are more of a, a spiritual ritual to bring balance to a very hectic day. Each aspect of the ceremony is symbolic and here to talk about the tea ceremony is Asomi. Mm -hmm. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. So you have a, a couple things here to show us. Right. And, uh, and you're beautifully dressed today. Thank you very much. In a much. very formal kimono. <laughs> I'll be wearing this at the festival as well. Mm -hmm. I'll and, be serving tea. And you're, you got a very pretty oh. hair piece too. <laughs> yeah, thank very you. Very nice. <laughs> that a friend made. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about the tea ceremony. Oh, so tea ceremony, um, it's called uh, cha, uh, cha do or cha no yu in Japanese. And it is a spiritual and aesthetic discipline for mm. refinement of the self. Okay. And All it right. is focused on the host and the guest joining together over a bowl of tea. Okay. And mm. the host 
does their best to create um, unforgettable experience wow, okay. and of course a delicious bowl of tea okay. Uh, okay. in order to create an uh, like a uh, once in a lifetime experience. So it's, a, it's very much a gift yes. to, to whoever you're sharing mm -hmm. that with, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, and good. it has four principles. Okay. Uh, wa, kei, sei, jaku, or harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. very nice. Now this is a process that you that is not rushed. Correct. You know, everything is so calm, calm. and yes. yeah, yeah, we appreciate the peacefulness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was originally created in Japan, but it is now all over the world, sure, and sure. everybody can appreciate the peacefulness of a bowl of tea. Very nice. Very nice. And what are some of the things that you have here? So um, originally, brick tea was brought from China in early ninth century. Mm. And then powdered tea was brought back from China in 12th century. And then in 15th and 16th century, three very um, influential people, they were merchant, they developed the uh, um, tea. And one of them was Rikyu, Saint Rikyu. Mm -hmm. And Saint Rikyu was the 16th century tea master and he created many utensils like this. Okay. So okay. this is tea bowl. Okay. Uh-huh. And here I have teaspoon. Okay. For the tea master. Okay. And this is oops. The whisk. The whisk okay. to stir the okay. tea. Okay. Okay. So this bowl would prepare about how many servings? Um so usually there will be five to ten people okay. uh -huh. and uh -huh. each one will get their own okay. probably different kind of mm -hmm. themes for nice. yeah, each person. Okay, I see. Yep. All right. <laughs> and this is a white paper for <coughs> um, several purposes. Okay. Uh-huh. And usually, since the green tea is so bitter, it comes with a very sweet, um, some kind of Japanese sweets. Okay, all yeah. right. So you would add that into the tea? So you're supposed to eat it first oh, and then drink the oh, bitter tea. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. And I understand, too, that um, when you, you drink the tea, mm -hmm. you it's, it's a whole aroma, isn't it? You, you smell it, you taste it. Oh, there are some it. rules. Yeah, tell me about that. So once the um, tea ball is served to you, yes. um, you have to turn it like okay. a few times. There are rules. Yes. I'm not going to go into <laughs> the details. Okay. So um, I think it's once and a half. Okay. And then drink mm -hmm. and half again, okay, and then say thank you to the tea master. Okay, uh-huh. That's how it goes. Yeah. All right. Yes. <coughs> so I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not going to host the tea ceremony at the festival. Yep. Okay. So uh, Mr. Anthony Crasso will be hosting the tea oh, ceremony. Oh, okay. All right. He's a um, 28-year-old engineer and also a tea practitioner. So he was always interested in Japanese culture, but um, in the language. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when he first saw the tea ceremony at the festival in Newport in Rhode Island, mm -hmm. he what he got so fascinated mm -hmm. with it. And since then, he started attending tea ceremony in Boston. Okay, all right. Well, th that's quite an honor to have him at the <laughs> festival then. Yeah, that's right. June seventeenth. Very nice. Very good. Thank you for coming Thank today to, to, share, to share that in his place. <laughs> yes. And you have a couple other uh, things there, too. Um, this is called chakin. This is for wiping okay. the bowl. Uh -huh. yep. And this is a tray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And this uh, teaspoon, is that for measuring as well as stirring? Uh, 
Uh, just for measuring. Measuring, yeah. okay. The amount just a little is amount of right? powder wow. is enough for it. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Since the powder is first very expensive, sure. And second, very bitter. Okay. So okay. just a little bit is enough. Okay. And the, the teas, I understand, are hand picked and, you know, it's mm -hmm. um, very expensive. That's you know, right. And, and, and you can reuse some of the teas after. You know, mm -hmm. after one serving kind of thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very good. So at the festival, um, so uh, Mr. Anthony Grasso will be serving a delicious green tea from Japan, mm -hmm. along with sweets from Japan. Okay. Very good. Well, that's from 12 to 1. Mm -hmm. 12 to 1 at the library. At the library. On June 17th. Come check it out. My next guest is Noriko who will lead all the kids, hands-on kids activities at the Japan Summer Festival. It, it's, it's no surprise, she was a kindergarten teacher <laughs> in a previous life, and, she, and she's got Pikachu on her uh -huh. hat today, mm -hmm. yes. So there's, there's gonna be activities outside and inside, and outside it's, it's at 1.30 and 4, and inside it is at 3, inside the library. So she's gonna talk about the outside activities sure. right now. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna bring, uh, I brought three different things today to show mm -hmm. and talk. And these are you know, called kendama in Japanese, you know, you know, bowl and the cup, and then kids gonna do this. Is just leave you jumping and then put this, or okay. just send like that. Okay. So. That one would be they, harder. Yeah, <laughs> then you practice what the kids yeah. can make it if they try to. Sure, sure. As many okay. as possible. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, you know, top. Yeah. This, this is a string with that. Uh, this is a little bit other ones. But, uh, you know, when I was kindergarten teacher, you know, five years old, you know, kids can do this. Sure. Once okay. they learn how okay. to do it. And then if it's so difficult to do with it, there's tiny, tiny spinning taps. Yes. Tops so That's they fun. can do with this. It's so mm -hmm. cute and fun to do it. Right. And then one more thing that children can do is water ball and fishing. So oh, yeah. I brought this from Japan, so oh. here we can make this one okay. for this, and then this is water pool for this pool. So they have a stick, and this, does the stick have a hook on it? That yes, they, to yeah, get everything a, yeah. inside a hook, yeah. and then this is kind of a rubber band to for this oh, one. Oh yes, oh yeah, rubber, band. Kind of rubber band, okay, yeah. So it's a fun game. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, children They're love this too. Yes. A bit wet. Teacher's patience. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's right, that's right. Kids can learn anything. That, that will be yeah, fun. That will be a lot of fun. Yeah, those are outside those activities. Are outside activities, <laughs> yep. And then inside, yes. let's talk about some of the inside activities. Yes, so I'm going to put the side. And we'll have an inside activities at the library. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to yeah. do. We have a five sections in the room. So we're gonna have a, some corner for each one. Oh, okay. So okay. the first one, you wanna learn how to say good morning or oh. hello in Japanese. Okay. So they will get this paper to see, take a look, and then the teachers are gonna help you know, people who will help you yeah. how to say. Okay. For example, you're okay. my student today. Okay. So you're gonna say good morning and. Ohio. Ohio. Great. That yes. sounds like a state of Ohio. It sure does. Excellent. <laughs> you did a great job. Hello, so that, more. So that is so good. good. Mm -hmm. Hello. We say, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Excellent. Maybe you know before. <laughs> <laughs> Super. So like, they will learn six different greeting words in Japanese. Mm -hmm. So Goodbye, good night, good evening, and thank you. How do you say thank you? Arigato. Oh, that's a it's hard like one. like arigato. Oh, okay. Arigato. Agreto. Arigato. Agreto. So close. Arigato. Agreto. Thank you, your toe. Just to say. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Just read it kind of sounds. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, another activity. Very good. So, what is so you you'll learn a little learn. Japanese coming to the festival. Yeah. Of, yeah okay. <laughs> it's a more awesome, yeah. easy one starting with. Yes. And then you can take Japanese class. <laughs> then you, can, you, yep, you can read, now you can write. Okay. So, why? You want to learn? how to write your name in Japanese. Hmm. So this is a sample for her. I know her name is Rine. Yes. So I said, this is Japanese is Rine, Rine. Does it go by sound? 
uh, more than wait, the letters? By sounds. By, sounds. by sound. Yes. Okay. Okay. So when I hear what you say, your name, yes. you say that? Renee. So I say that Renee. I don't yes. know right Renee. But the sound Renee, we say Renee. Just flat sound. Not goes down or goes up. Okay. Okay. So just flat Renee. Renee. Okay. So All and right. then and those have, are the characters. you have a three ones, characters. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Renee. Eh. So you can practice how to write here. And then you can inside. practice inside the blocks. Right. right. So you can master your Japanese okay. name. All right. I will do that at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So each child can, would get that. Yeah. Yes. It would help them. We just try to ask their names first. Sure, of course. And then people who are sitting in front of them just give that, you know, spelling okay. letters. Uh -huh. And then they just see their name in Japanese and they copy it in the section. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. And we have a coloring. So Hello Kitty is a popular uh, one. Of course. So of course. we have uh, more than, you know, just around 10 different coloring you know, letters, uh, drawing papers. Okay. So they can choose whatever they like to okay. color. Okay. So we will prepare crayons to okay. use. Mm -hmm. and if you, you like Hello Kitty and kimono, you can just uh, do mm -hmm. it and have a fun. Color. Sure, right? sure, yeah. <laughs> and then they can take that with them. Yeah, sure, free. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Everything is free for this. Everything is free. Right. Everything right. is free, absolutely. Okay, so we're going to have a pink wheel. Okay. This is easy to make and then fun to play. So there's um, origami paper uh -huh. and then just we cut and you know, four sides. Then just the match to the center and make the kind of things start all okay. peaks. And then Oh very nice, like a pinwheel. A pinwheel. So you show them how to do that and then it's with well, a it's so easy. So maybe four years kids or five years old kids okay. can do yep. it. Sure, you know, sure. Then five and up. That they can play with it. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. Noriko, thank you so very much. It's so You're nice right. to have you again. Thank um, you so much. To tell us a little bit about the Japan Summer Festival. It's now in its fourth year, and you've been involved three of the four right. years. So we really appreciate it. I'm so glad it. I came back here. Yeah, me too. Thank, <laughs> thank you very you. much. <laughs> New to the Japan Summer Festival is a cosplay contest. And with me today to talk about that are Emma and Lisa. And they're, these are not their normal clothes that they are wearing. <laughs> <laughs> they are dressed for the contest, and let me tell you a little bit about that. Cosplay is the practice of dressing up as a character from a movie, book, or video game, especially one from the Japanese genres of manga and anime. Um, for a $5 entry fee, contestants will show off their handmade costumes. Um, costumes will be judged on their craftsmanship, originality, and best of show. So, tell me what you two are wearing. <laughs> yes. I am dressed up as a Sailor Mercury. Sailor Mercury? Yes. Okay. She usually has a blue wig, uh -huh. but I'm just uh, being my own here uh -huh. today. <laughs> but she does have this uh, high school uniform. Oh, okay. Okay. And is she from a book, movie, or a video She's game? from a manga. Oh, a manga. Yes. Okay. Very famous uh, sidekick of Sailor Moon. Ah, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And Lisa, underneath that gray wig? Yes, underneath <laughs> the wig and the jacket. I am cosplaying as Prussia from an anime and manga called uh, Hetalia. Okay. Which is about, it's a historical anime where different countries are personified by characters. Oh. So I am playing the role of Prussia. Very And my cool. costume is from the German Wars of Unification. Very good. And, yes. that's and my friend... Um, yes? Is the jacket is all handmade. My friend wow. Uso has made this for me. So oh, you could be a winner. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I'm, I, I can't enter those. Oh, but <laughs> so you two will be running the cosplay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Have you ever been to one or, or participated? She in has. One? Yes. Have? Yep. I've been yeah. to contests and participated. I've never run one before, so all this right. is the first. But all right, this is my first but cosplay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a fun element to yes. the Japan Summer Festival. What time is this all going to take place? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Blue back Three o'clock to three thirty. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, tell us a little bit about how how it goes. So, if I want to participate, what's the first thing I need to do? Um, you would want to come to our booth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before two o'clock. Okay. That's the cutoff time to register okay. to be on the fashion show. Oh, 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, come and see us and it will register you and okay. you pay your $5 entry fee. Mm -hmm. And then be at the main stage for the contest 20 minutes before it begins at 2.40 okay. p.m. Okay. And we'll get everybody lined up and ready to go. So. Okay, and one by one people will process? Yes. Yes. Up so to the stage, yes. stop, show, all show the different off. sides. Yes. We're going to have, you know, <laughs> Uh, area like sort of a red carpet where oh, they can walk down and cool. show off their costume. Neat. And yes. the judges will uh, be on the side, mm -hmm. so you can do mm -hmm. a little thing if you want to, okay. or dance, <laughs> and then step, step aside and one by one, okay. we will do it. All right. We do not know uh, how much is the crest cash price going to be. Because that will be determined that will be how many, how many yes. people enter. Yep. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. So hopefully a lot of people yes, will come, come that see day. us at our booth. <laughs> <laughs> and visit, our, visit the webpage too if you have questions. All right. yes. And this year the theme is Japanese theme. Japanese so theme. So any kind okay. of Japanese anime, manga, okay. or TV, anything, okay. uh, you are yes. all welcome to come. And okay. If you dress up in Darth Vader or something, yes, you can see it, but you may not win the contest. You know, right, you yes, that, yeah, that's yeah. Not, certainly if you want it for your own fun. Yeah, but yeah, fun but the okay. theme of the contest is, you know, things from Japan, because yeah. we're celebrating the Japanese, Japanese summer, day. summer yeah. festival. Yep. Sure, yeah. sure, so do a little research before you come. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, is, what is this part here, about 70%? Oh, uh, well, we want, like, high-quality entrance and not... You know, not that there's anything wrong with, you know, going to Hot Topic and buying a Naruto headband and jacket or, you know, walking around. That's fine. If it, it's fun. But the contest is supposed to be about, you know, think craftsmanship and originality. So we want to see what you can do, what you can make yourself. Okay. Yes. Right. I mean, obviously, you don't have to make everything. Like, you know, for example, my outfit, the jacket is... Uh, and the pants are made by my friend, but obviously I didn't make my boots and I didn't make this wig. So. Sure, sure. Uh -huh. So and some of the accessories. Right. Right. Yeah. The accessories and things like that are fine to buy, but okay. just, you know, the main part of your the costume should be. Yes. And if, you, like, if you're like me and you can't sew, but you have friends that are very talented, you know, use this, you can yeah. use it to show off the, their talents too. Yes. Very good. But this time we don't want you to bring any weapons. You're yes. Right. Yes. Yes. yes, that's yes. important. It's Tell us about the things a family not to bring. event. Yes. Yes. There's going to be lots of kids. So we don't want, and the stage is going to be, it's not right. a big place, it's not a big place yeah. so we yeah. just want it to be safe. Yes. Right? yes. Uh, yeah, no, no props this time, no props please. This time. Yes. Okay. All right. And what else do we have? And, you know, keep it, yeah. you know, family, keep in mind that this is a family event, yes, so nothing, mm -hmm. yes. nothing that when you wouldn't consider like scary. PG. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Or, yeah or, <laughs> or too much skin. Or yeah, not like scary, that. not <laughs> yeah, okay. too much skin. Right. Yes. All right. But all these questions, if you have, you can go yes. to our Facebook page. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the Japan Society of Greater Harford okay. Facebook page, or yes. you can email us. Okay. And uh, we can give you the email address later, so you can put it on the okay. TV. All right, yes. sounds good, very good. And after the fashion show, uh -huh. we are going to dance and that actually brings cookie. us to that moment now. Yes. yes. All right. Now. Okay. We'll do let's a little do it. demonstration. Yes. All right. I can show you okay. how to do it. Well, that gives you a little sample of what to expect at the Japan Summer Festival on June 17th. Put it on your calendar and please join us for an exciting day of Japanese culture. Thank you for tuning in.